grand day. A national outing, the perfect setting for a grand national. Close on half a million jam in tree course, for this is more than ever a special occasion, a royal occasion, the first royal national for 13 years. The king and queen, the princesses and the duchess of Kent enter the paddock. Royal interest centers on the entrance jointly owned by the queen and princess Elizabeth, stately Monavine, second favorite. Also drawing royal attention is Cromwell, owned and ridden by that popular amateur jockey, Lord Mildmay. It's the 106th national since Lottery won the sweepstake way back in 1839. And seldom in its long history has it been a more summer-like day. King Sol brings out the 1950 look and makes Ascot out of Aintree. It's parade time now and the big hour draws near. The royal party have taken their place on top of the stand. That air of expectancy and excitement is everywhere as the horses canter down to the start. Nosing towards the tape, the ragged line straightens out. 49 of the world's top chasers are ready for battle in the world's classic. And they're away to a fast and furious start. Four and a half miles to go, 30 fences to cross. Slow motion picks them out at jump number one. What no son and Monavine lead the rush. They're all over there, everyone with a chance, at least almost everyone. For here come the first casualties. Tommy Traddles, Old Man River, Cottage Welcome. Coming up to number three, and what no son is first to cross with 45 others hard after him. No casualties here, and the field begins to spread out with a few stragglers as they come up to number four. Jump number five, and it's more like a bus queue in the rush hour. The big names are still there, thundering on to beaches. This is it, Beaches Brook, every rider's nightmare. Slow motion picks out Monavine first across, with What No Son, Shag Green, Acton Major, all well there. But Beaches claims its price. Two more go down. Monavine, the housewife's choice, is now out in front, showing the way towards the first mile post. Canal turn coming up. Tony Grantham puts Monavine safely across, but this is where the best of them can come unstuck. It's here that Roymond bites the dust. Valentine's Brook. Monavine is over first, and after him, the casualties pile up. Nineteen fences to go, and it's still Monavine setting the pace. A royalty-owned horse last won the national 50 years ago. With the field spreading out more than ever, Monavine looks well set. First to challenge his lead is Acton Major, number 13. Neck and neck, they race along towards number 14. And it's here that Monavine misses his big chance. First, of course, he stumbles on landing. Jockey Grantham clings to him, but loses valuable ground and finds the rest heading him to the water, with Cloncarrig first across. Round the bend for the second time round, and what no son takes the lead. A repeat of what happened last year. Cloncarrig is hard after him, and by jump 17, the Irish gelding is ahead again, with what no son following him across. Number 19, and now it's What No Sun out in front. But forging ahead comes another, Angel Hill. Watch him move. Beaches again, and yes, slow motion shows it's still Angel Hill, with What No Sun and Con Carrig in second and third place. The field is thinning out, Monavine has dropped back, and Cromwell is out of it too. Just over a mile to go, and Angel Hill, an unsung and unheralded little un, is showing the rest of the field how.
canal turn, simultaneous jump and swerve. Angel Hill leads, but bad luck, he's down. Clon Carrick takes over. Valentine's again. First, Clon Carrick, second, What No Son, third, Free Booter. Five fences to go. Less than a dozen horses left. Clon Carrick and Free Booter are neck and neck as they pound along the racecourse stretch. Slowly, inch by inch, Clon Carrick forges ahead. The others are way behind as the two leaders come up to the last jump at one. And now it's the end for Clon Carrick. Down and out, while Freebooter is away on his own. There's nothing to stop Freebooter now. With the last jump safely behind him, Jockey Power now needs a pair of glasses to spot the others. Royal hopes are dashed. It's not to be Monoveen's day, for this is Freebooter's hour of triumph. A heavily backed favourite, brilliantly ridden by Ireland's 26-year-old Jimmy Power, he romps home without ever getting steamed up. Twice a winner at Aintree over a shorter distance, Freebooter passes the post first of an all-Yorkshire trained first, second and third. The unanimous choice of the knowledgeable ones, he becomes the first favourite to win at Aintree for 23 years. It's a black day for the bookies. Their satchels are as light as their customers' hearts. Freebooter, a £3,000 buy in the Emerald Isle, puts £10,000 into the pocket of his owner, Mrs Brotherton, and writes the perfect ending to a national Grand Slam.